VNAV can be used during a climb to meet altitude constraints in the flight plan. Altitude constraints are often found on published SIDs and can also be entered by the pilot. For a detailed description of the VNAV rules, refer to the VNAV overview video. In this video, we will demonstrate using VNAV to fly an RNAV departure on a flight from Teterboro to Gary, Indiana. Teterboro is using runway 24 for takeoff. An ATC has assigned us the following clearance. Cleared to KGYY, Rudy 5 departure, Rudy transition, then is filed. Climb via the SID, maintain 2000. Enter the departure runway and SID into the flight plan. For more information, refer to the video on Entering the SID. Once the SID is loaded, cross-check the waypoints in the flight plan with the charted procedure. Two waypoints on the Rudy 5 have altitude constraints, so confirm they are correct in the flight plan as well. The altitudes at Wentz and Tasca are both mandatory, which is depicted on the flight plan with horizontal lines above and below the displayed altitude. For this example, ATC has cleared us to climb via the SID and maintain 2000. So we'll set 2000 in the altitude pre-selector. In this example, the aircraft will not climb past 2000 feet regardless of any higher VNAV altitudes. However, if VNAV is active, the aircraft will level off at lower altitudes as required by the SID in the flight plan. After takeoff, select NAV and then VNAV. Push Speed to activate the V-Speed mode. Once V-Speed mode is activated, the aircraft will capture the current speed and will pitch to maintain that airspeed. You can adjust the target speed by pressing the nose up or nose down buttons. The rate of climb is controlled by adjusting the PCL. The FMS altitude target is shown to the lower left of the altitude pre-selector. It displays the next altitude constraint on the flight plan. In this case, Wentz is the next waypoint with an altitude constraint of 1,500 feet. This can and should be cross-checked on the chart. With VNAV armed during a climb, the aircraft will capture the lowest of either the FMS altitude target or the altitude pre-selector. As we approach the altitude target for Wentz, the FMS will transition from V-Speed to V-Select to capture the altitude. Once we pass Wentz, VNAV will look for the next altitude target. In this case, it is Tasca at 2000. Once we are past Wentz, the FMS will automatically transition from V-Alt back to V-Speed to begin a climb to the next altitude constraint. Add power as necessary to maintain the climb rate. As the aircraft approaches 2,000 feet, V-Speed mode will transition to V-Select and the aircraft will capture 2,000 feet. Once the altitude is captured, V-Select will change to V-Alt mode and the aircraft will maintain 2,000 feet. As we approach Rudy, ATC instructs us to climb and maintain 10,000 feet. It's important to remember that if ATC issues an altitude clearance that no longer requires compliance with the altitudes in the flight plan, VNAV should be deselected. In this example, we can verify that VNAV has been deselected because VALT is changed to ALT. This will ensure that the aircraft will not prematurely level off at any VNAV altitude constraints that may exist in the flight plan. As more and more SIDs are being published with altitude constraints, using VNAV during climbs is an excellent way to reduce pilot workload and mitigate altitude deviations.